Hey guys, I'm gonna make some mushroom hummus. So this is one for all you vegetarians, but this is a recipe that I've adapted from Chef Chad Hyatt and his great cookbook, uh, The Mushroom Hunter's Kitchen. And in it, he had some methods for preserving some sort of less than choice or less than prime uh, mushroom edibles. And so yesterday while I was out at Salt Point with Damon Teague, I found some Russell Brevipus and it's a pretty decent mushroom. Um, you can go check Damon's story. He's got some, some good advice about how to cook it up just straight up. But I have uh, made mushroom hummus this, with uh, mushroom hummus with this before and figured that uh, I'd just show you guys what I'm doing. So let me point you down at the board here and you can see what ingredients I'm using. Um, compared to most things I make, this is pretty simple. Uh, it's just standard hummus ingredients, um, but with mushrooms instead of chickpeas. So first thing I gotta do is have a beer. Um, so I'm going to open up this beer. I got this the other day while I was visiting my friend Tyler. Um, so it's Sonoma Springs Brewing Company and it was called Duck Duck Juice. And it's a hazy IPA. Pretty darn good. Um, so let's, uh, let's pour this out. Oh yeah. And you know, for anyone who cooks a lot, you, you know that having a, having a beverage while you cook is an important part. So cheers to you guys. Mmm. Oh, that's got a great, great hoppy bouquet. Not too bitter. I like these hazies because they're generally less bitter than a lot of the West Coast IPAs. See so a lot of that hop character, floral notes, but without quite as much um, mouth pickering bitterness, which comes from the the alpha acids, which get um, what do they get? Decarboxylated. They get something. They get turned into to humulene. Humulenes get turned into alpha. Yeah, alpha acids get turned into humulenes. Sorry, it's been a while since I did all my brewing chemistry, but uh, cheers to anyone who's into beer. So, Ooh. Okay, so um, like I said, this is going to be a quick one. This recipe is not hard. I'm just going to point you over here at my blender, um, and I will go ahead and show you what I'm doing. So, so I've got some Russell Breva piece. Um, Brevipis. Well, I don't really know how to say it. I say brevipis. Uh, that works for me. <laughs> I'm just trying to get little bits of dirt out of here because I don't want those in my hummus. Um, so I, I picked some pretty big uh, Russell at Salt Point. They were um, they're in good shape. You know, honestly, that's why why Damon and I took them. Um, so I boiled them twice. Because uh, they have a little bit of an acrid flavor that I'm not a super huge fan of. You cook them up straight. I think Damon's got a method for kind of processing them a little bit better. But these are still very meaty and solid, um, even after being boiled twice. But I'm going to um, put them in the blender. First thing I'm going to do, though, is just put in um, broken up uh, garlic clove. And I like to like break them up just a little bit before you put them in a the blender. Um, it'll help help it along getting turned into small pieces later on. Now I'm going to put in a good dose of salt on the bottom here and a couple of glugs of olive oil and I can adjust all these seasonings and stuff after. Um, okay, I'm going to do it a knife. There we go. Knife. I got some lemon here. Um, and you know what I'm going to do? is I'm going to put in just a little bit of the, the mushroom to begin with so I can get that, that garlic blended um, and then I'll go in with the rest of the mushroom. Okay. This is one of those things sometimes when you're making hummus or something like that you got to like adjust um, the size of your container to what you're, you're blending. So I have little bits of garlic there and I want to get them really finely processed. Um, so I'm going to just start with a little bit here. I apologize because this is going to be loud but you guys can deal with it. Okay, so I kicked everything up out of the side, so I'm gonna go ahead and just add, I'm just add the rest of my mushroom here. I'll blend it for a little while, and make sure it gets nice and smooth, and get all that garlic incorporated. So we've got our twice boiled rusla going in. We've got some garlic and salt, and I've got tahini and lemon juice standing by. So I'm gonna just blend the heck out of this. Um, and this is a good thing to do with like a Vitamix, a blender that really can chop it small. 
Uh, you don't necessarily want to do this in like a food processor because I don't think it'll really get it small enough, but you, know, you can always try. So I'm going to just, again, apologize for the noise, but I'm going to let this rip. I would like to start at variable speeds so I can kind of grind it and get the smaller pieces. Make a solid act like a liquid, you know? I'll turn this up. Slowly get incorporated here. Okay, yeah, looks like I need a little bit more liquid to get this thing moving. So I can come in with a little more olive oil. Um, use a good quality olive oil, but you don't need to use a crazy one. Um, sometimes the really crazy olive oils are just a little too bitter to kind of cook stuff with. And, and actually, that's good advice too, is if you end up having to use a lot of oil in something like this, you don't need to use all olive oil. So kind of use a little bit of vegetable oil. Um, so I was tempted to put in a whole lot, bunch of tahini, but I actually don't like tahini that much. Um, so I'm going to put in just a, a small spoonful to begin with, and I'll, I'll taste it as I go along here to like figure out what what I really want to do. Mmm, that's actually pretty good tahini. Mmm, yum, 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 yum. Okay, so speaking of which, I'm going to put in a little bit of um, just normal vegetable oil to this as well, so it's, I don't use too much olive oil and make it too... Uh, too kind of bitter. So hummus is an emulsion, and uh, I'm going to emulsify this, you know? <laughs> That's what we're doing. I am going to have to get my ladle real quick, so hang on, i got to unplug myself from the microphone so I can... Uh, back, grab my ladle, this guy, I'm going to use this to tamp down mushrooms. <laughs> Making a mess here. How it goes sometimes. It's just how it goes. Okay. So, so this isn't going to move unless I get a little bit more water or a little more liquid. So I'm just going to take a tiny bit of water here. I don't want to dilute this too much, but you know, hummus can be nice and liquidy. I just want to put enough. Enough liquid in here that it'll uh, it'll get moving around. Let's put like a splash of cumin or sumac or some other nice Middle Eastern spices in here. There we go. Oh, it's embarrassing to be blending live and not have it work. <laughs> okay, basically a mushroom smoothie. Yeah, almost there, almost there. Slowly crank it up, crank it up, crank it up. Nope, oh, and we lost it. Tamp it down again. Again, I don't want to make this too runny, which is part of why I'm trying to get this thing to really work. I'm gonna be nice and thick on this. Okay, I'm gonna put in just last little bit of water I've got here. And uh, I'll use my spatula to push the big mushroom pieces down. These are the pieces we need to get blended. And everything will start moving around freely in here. Okay. There we go. Now we're moving. Now I'm going to blend that. creamy texture. Looks and tastes a lot like hummus. <laughs> and it's made with mushrooms instead of garbanzo beans. Pretty cool. So, 
done. Let's take a little taste and check our seasonings. Mmm. You know, it doesn't, it doesn't have any chickpea flavor because there's no chickpeas in it. Um, it has very, I don't know if it even has mushroom flavor, to be totally honest, because the rustle, I sort of boil it twice, so it's, you know, there's not a lot of mushroom flavor there. It's pretty mild, mild flavored mushroom once you boil it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and hit it with more tahini and a bunch of lemon and maybe a little olive oil and more salt and just a dash of pepper. Oops, I got myself a piece of the lemon in there. Let's take that out. Mmm, lemon juice is good. So yeah, this is going to taste like tahini and lemon and uh, and basically be indistinguishable from real hummus. Um, I may I may try to fool Jerry, see if I can convince her that this is real hummus and then I'll let her know. Um, although she she saw me boiling and she knew what I was up to immediately. So <laughs> can't fool her. She's She's been through this too many times. All right, a little more olive oil. Boom. And we're going to just uh, put this back. I'll turn the thing down and crank it up slow. Okay, looks like I'm gonna stir this again. So yeah, this stuff's pretty pretty thick. It's not it's not a bad thing to maybe add just a tiny tiny bit more liquid. So again, I can get this moving freely. There we go. Hmm, look in the spatula. Very good. Nom, 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 nom. Okay. Let me crank this up. Oh, I lost my, lost my blending. Okay. Wasn't turning over because there's a big air bubble in the bottom, but I guess it's pretty well mixed. We got a nice, a nice final mushroom product here. So this is mushroom hummus made out of rustla, a mushroom that people completely ignore. Oh man, that's really good. I smear this all over some naan. It'll be really tasty. So uh, yeah, thank you guys. Ooh. Thank you guys for joining me in. Uh, making some mushroom hummus. Um, I'm sorry that I haven't been looking at the comments. I'm, I'm busy cooking. But uh, if you want to learn more from me, you can check out my website, fastandbyfunga.com. I've got some answers on there for frequently asked questions. I've got cool mushroom merch, this beautiful uh, lobster lobster chef shirt that uh, Lindley designed for me. And I'm, this is probably you know, one of my favorite logos that I've had done. Uh, so you can get this and some other cool original mushroom merch on my website. I love the support. Uh, if you want to ask me lots of questions about mushrooms and maybe even a recipe for this, uh, you can join my Patreon. I've got a Patreon where I do a lot of cooking stuff, and uh, I'm on all sorts of different social media. I'm on TikTok and Facebook and YouTube and, uh, God, what else? Pinterest, Twitter, Snapchat, all the things. Um, it's kind of overwhelming sometimes, but um, I appreciate getting to share my mushroom knowledge with you guys, and... Uh, Cheers to everyone. Thank you so much for following along and thank you for joining me on this live broadcast. So, uh, yeah, I'll give you one more look at this mushroom hummus here. Pretty creamy, delicious, yummy stuff. Russell Brevipies, mushroom hummus. Okay, guys, have a good one. Bye.